four times kickboxing world champion, one of the most influential person in the world. At the same time, guy is the most famous kickboxer and one of the most influential businessmen in the earth. Today, I'd like to reveal and break down technique of the Andrew Tate. Is it true that everybody is saying about his fight? That his own style make him absolutely unfazed and unique? The first fight where I'd like to analyze is that's his fight against the Parparian. This guy was one of the toughest opponent of the Tate, but regardless Tate lost the fight, people saying how good Tate showed himself in this fight. Mm -hmm. You can see they're beginning the fight, right? Refer explaining the rules, right? Mm -hmm. And you can see Tate already was experienced enough before this fight, right? A lot of onlookers of the fight. Glory kickboxing. The first round begins. And you can see beginning of the fight that he's the whole mark. He's strong suit, this side kick. Extremely dangerous kick. When his opponent lifting his hand exactly under the heart, this kick is going. Second side kick. You can see in the beginning, right? He possesses a shallow hands and legs and he controls the distance. He's dictating his own rules in the fight. With the JFs, with the side kicks, he controls the distance. But his opponent, you see, he sit on the legs. He also has such a high guard. That means he's protecting his head always. It's five round fights. One, two is very cool. Very cool one, two to the face. And again, key, key, he use his lead leg. This high kick, extremely fast. One, two, again, nice combo. And still his opponent do nothing. But press and press and slowly. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Parparian is moving. But Tate still control. Again, side kick. Again, side kick. But opponent still pushing. Uh, to be honest with you, you can see for his opponent, uh, the best scenario when your opponent is taller and he or shorter, when you push and when you're going the close and medium distance, only one way for you how to win, right? Just to go on the close distance, because on the close distance, frequently opponents who are taller than you, they feel themselves uncomfortable. Wow, really nice knee. Again, kick. End of the round. You can see a lot of clashes here. I think Tate doesn't need to go on the close distance, but he still feels himself really comfortable on the close distance. This is crazy, though. Yeah, because he see, right? You see, in the kickboxing, it's really important to know how to work with the levels. When in the boxing, at the same time, they have only two levels. Here you have three. You can land to the head, you can land to the body, and also to the legs, right? And now you can see how Tate work with all three levels. Opponent still tough. You see, that's like a 230, or well, like a second round, he's still pressing the Tate. I think that's the right tactic, but Tate controls the distance still. And when Parparian goes on the close distance, he is immediately clinch him. Also really nice technique, guys. Really nice. Yeah, and this work, what I said before, like levels, levels, levels. And really nice Tate, you see this like a body shot, right? Like a body hook, really good one. Because you can see in some of the moments his opponent raising his elbows. Missing, really nice. Again the lead kick, again the middle kick. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good work, good work, good work. Mm -hmm. You see, they already understand. One more, very nice side kick. Already right leg using. But Parparian still pressing, still pressing. Still Parparian doesn't know what to do with the Tate's uh, side kicks. Good one, good one, good one. Awesome. And finishing the combo with the kick, that's really good uh, kickboxing technique, love it. You see guys already tired. Really important when you're tired, hold your hands up. Important. Yep. Tate goes inside with the uppercuts. You can see in the last round how guys, even they're retired, right? they still go forward and pressing up. Awesome. Good work. Warriors, warriors. Next fight of the Andrew Tate against the Marino Show 10. A really interesting fight's gonna be, right? Awesome. Again, side kick, you can see, guys. As I mentioned before, that's his strong suit. Bam, again, side kick. This guy already has almost the same anthropometry as a Tate. Bam. Mm -hmm. He's pressing him. This guy has almost the same anthropometry as a Tate. Awesome. Jeb. Jeb for the control. Awesome. Again. You see how he controls distance with his kicks? Good work. That's a, for me, that's a full dominating, you see? Regardless, the guy is pressing him, but he press him without punches. When you go forward, guys, you have to always do something, you know, but he, he just goes with no punches. 
And that's why Tate him, meets him. He meets him more. Yeah, yeah, you can see. But how Tate see all these open spaces and how he's preparing opponent. Awesome control. Control. Nice jab. Again jab. With the full dominating with the jab and this right uppercut. Exactly between hands. Preparing. Preparing. Bam. Body. Again control. Awesome. Good work. Again the body. I... You can see, guys, how he's like a reading his opponent fully. He can see all these free spots. GF for the control. And he's blocking the high kick. But really dangerous high kick was from the Shatan. Now to the body. He's responsible immediately. He doesn't give him opportunity to dominate at all. After every activity of the Shatan, you can see how Tate is responsible more. Crazy. So front of the fight begins. Tate is afresh, you can see. And the opponent already knows what to do, right? He's trying at least to do something, right? Again, the sidekick, absolutely crazy. Really good to see combinations from the Tate. You can see he's beginning with the hands and finishing with the kick. That's exactly how kickboxing has to look. Awesome. You can see how Shatan is pressing him, right? He goes on him and he's moving, the Tate moving to the side and, and throwing some attendance left hook. Good work. Again, the combination. Everything go to the target exactly. Awesome, good work. Again, the sprint at, mm -hmm, miss, but still, good work, good work, good work. It's a real clash, and he's a like, and you can see how Shatan didn't reach him at all with the knee, but a little bit Tate is tired, I can see, but pressing him still, crazy, good work. Still missing because the chin has to go down of the Tate. Awesome, but still he doesn't give him a chance. I really like to see how Tate begins his combination using his right hand first, spread and common. And everybody's saying left, 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 but he's beginning from the right uppercut, right uppercut, or like a, or like a cross, crazy shit. For me, that was the full dominating fight, full dominating fight, guys, you have to watch. I'd like to see the result who won. Whose hand gonna be awesome. Shaten, I think, didn't find the key for the defense of the Tate. He was trying to press him, but always, guys, when you press, you have to use the punches, kicks, or you have to move your body somehow, but he just was going as a tank straight forward. Not a good method, but Tate was doing exactly what he used to do. Just keep his long distance, what is impossible to cut, because he used his long legs, long, long hands. And regardless, when Shaten goes to the close distance, Tate also knows what to do on the close distance, and he used a lot of body shots, and all he his punches go exactly between hands of the shotgun. Good work. Thank you very much, guys, for your attention. I'd really appreciate to see here your like and comment, and I'll catch you up later in the next videos. Thanks.